Alright, except it's a condition problem, so I have to actually... <sighs> okay. This, this is the kind of problem that's not easy to do in GeoGebra, which is not great for me. Okay, here we are. So that ABCDV convex. Okay, and then BD is segment BD, and AC is segment AC. Okay, so it wants like angle PDC plus angle PAB. Can I just like take the isogonal conjugate of the intersection of the diagonals? Yes, GeoGebra has text input. It's so much faster. You should try it. It's great. But the problem is, I don't remember what the condition for isogonal conjugates is. That's awkwardly orthodiagonal. When will GeoGebra be allowed on a contest? Um, when computers take over society or something, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna, I have a guess where this point P is. I'm gonna see if that guess is right. Uh, P, D, C, right? And A, B, I think I know where that point actually is. Um, okay, so reflect line B, D, uh, sorry, let's do bisector A, B, D. Nope, nope, uh, not B, D. Uh, Wait, what? Oh, ABC, that's why. Reflect. AC angle bisector BAD. Too many parens. Okay, if I get enough points, can I challenge you to a game of nitro type instead of FTW? What is FTW? Or sorry, what is nitro type? P A B angle C D P. Ah, we got it. Yeah, I found P. <laughs> it's the isogonal conjugate. That was very. Right. That was a very lucky guess. Well, actually, I don't know. I felt like it had to be or something. Like, I couldn't think of what other point it would be. Okay. Uh. Okay, so if... Do people know what the isogonal conjugate condition is? Because I actually don't remember. Can we play chess sometime? Okay. If you redeem the 1v1 StarCraft reward, and I'll, I'll change 1v1 StarCraft to 1v1 any game. So if you get enough channel points, you can play me in whatever game you want. Um, if it's a game I've never played before, I'll still play it, but I'll probably lose because it's, it'll be my first game. Uh, Can you, the game be a... Okay, it has to be a game that I can um, obtain without paying money, because... <laughs> I'm not ma I don't make very much money from this stream, by which I get like a dollar per stream. So I would prefer to be net positive. <laughs> okay, so it exists because APB plus DPC is 180. Okay, so the condition is like, if the opposite angles add up to 180, then the isogonal conjugate exists, right? So theorem, if isogonal... If P is a point such that angle APD plus angle BPC is 180, then the isogonal conjugate of P exists. I'll take Twitch chat's word for that. In which case, one direction is now straightforward because if you have a, if you have the orthodiagonal, then you take the isogonal conjugate of the intersection and then you're fine. This is false. Okay, what's the condition? Did someone dupe me? Uh... The only if will not hold. Do you plan on developing Olympia Geogetzer further? 
I keep putting it off. If someone wants to help me dev it, you send me an email. Like, all I need is the diagrams. The code is all written. Ignore that's false. Okay, so... I don't know, why is this a condition for isogonal conjugates? If I pair isogonal conjugates, you have an ellipse, and then... Okay, well, in the converse direction, suppose a point P exists, you want to show that the point P has an isogonal conjugate. Um, because these angles add up to 90... Wait, does the problem just tell us the angles add up to 90? Like... Yeah, the other angle is... <laughs> the other direction just works too. So... In one direction, E has isogonal conjugate. And it works. In the other direction... P has isogonal conjugate, and it's E. So I think that just solves the problem, right? <laughs> let me let me call the point P E X instead, so I don't. That is the fastest I've solved the G6 in a very long time. <laughs> yeah, so the isogonal conjugate theorem just kills the problem. Um, maybe I should be a good person and actually try to prove that theorem. <laughs> okay, so... So, isogonal conjugate is equivalent to... Oh, there's a conic with foci E. I, how do you make an ellipse in GeoGebra? Uh, frick. Uh, uh, okay, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to use the triangle version, which I actually happen to know. Um, because it's isogonal... No, that doesn't... This angle, this angle... So it's an isogonal conjugate with respect to diagonals. Okay. So, for it to be isogonal in P and C, what I can do is I can let F be the intersection of line AB and line CD. So, we're just going to assume that... Um, how do I draw the six-point circle? But anyways, so it's isogonal with respect to FE and FP. So, if it's isogonal with respect to... Uh, So if, so, let me write all this down. Let A, B, and C, D meet at F. Um, then uh, let P be, let X be such a point and construct its isogonal. Let X be given and take its isogonal conjugate in triangle FBC. So then you know that there's a six-point circle which... Um, there's a six-point circle that passes through these six points and then you want it to pass through these two feet as well. So how do I get a hold of this angle? Like APD? Uh, it's uh, for redeem stream title. You actually get to pick this ring. It's not stream of your choice in quotes. Uh, how do you do the other direction? So you know it's isogonal. I should rotate this picture so that um, oh, it's not easy to rotate though. Here, how, how about... There's no good way to rotate the picture. We'll, we'll do it this way. I, I used line AC, but we'll use line um, BE. Or sorry, CE. And we'll change the definition to line BE. 
and then E can be any point, so I can delete the diagonals now. Um, oops. Oh, shoot. Or at least hide them. And then E is just a generic point. Okay, cool. So let's foil everything together. And so we want E to be a point such that there's a nice isogonal conjugate. Um, all right, so I, I should just draw the four feet, right? Why does I don't understand why the isogonal conjugate has to be the intersection? Um, so in the case where P is given, you take its isogonal conjugate, and that point has four right angles. So it's like four ninety degree angles. So because you you have a point E such that like the four angles are all right, you get a collinearity. It's it's kind of awkward. Yeah. Uh, it's a little weird. It's like there there exists a point that lies on these four semicircles, but then you're like, well, the semicircles give me the right angles I want. So yeah, we just need want to prove this lemma, which I someone in the chat knew, but. Given how quickly we solved it, let's actually prove it. So, um, all right, th these two angles I don't need anymore. And let's rename things properly. So we'll name P to X and E to Y. So, I don't want to draw the, okay, fine. I'll draw the four freaking feet. So T1 equals, Did I misspell intersect? I misspell intersect. I'm gonna copy that. No. Okay, and x3 is inter x. So we want to, the points which are good are the points for which all of these lie on this circle. If all of them lie on this circle, then, oh jeez, I have to manipulate y and not x. No, oh jeez, okay, this, this, this was not a good choice. Oh lord. <laughs> I can't get them to be called cyclic. So I have to find the diagram badly, so I have to move the point Y instead of X. Uh, you can just... Oh, that's so smart. Yes, okay. So the, the short version is we're trying to prove the theorem that I quoted, which just nukes the problem. Um, which I'm just, I'm just gonna, okay, you know what? Holy crap, this is really hard. I just can't get a diagram. Maybe I should just give up on the diagram. That's so bad. Okay, whatever. Um, so you're given there's a point here and uh, the circle is the so in general if I have a triangle and two pairs of isogonal conjugates the six feet of the isogonal conjugates are concyclic. This is called a six point circle because it's a generalization of a nine point circle. Um, yeah, so I mean if the projections are concyclic then the six point circle will immediately give you the thing you want. So um, P is yeah we're saying let X be any point that satisfies the angle condition which I'm trying to draw here and failing miserably because the points just don't want to cooperate. Um, oh, this one actually looks a little better. Okay, uh, that's close enough. Then we're going to say, we want to show that these six feet are concyclic. Um, we know this angle, this angle. Uh, 
How, how do I show the consequic? I mean, it's just, I don't, I'm not really using this angle here at all. Do I have to copy that angle to somewhere? I don't, well, in this approach, I don't need M and I don't need, I actually don't even need Y. Well, we can keep it, it's not doing anything. Thanks, small boy Ellie, for the follow and Flamestorm153 for the follow. So, how do I prove these four points are cyclic? Um. Oh, okay, I see. So angle x, x2, x3 is equal to angle x, c, d. And angle x1, x2, x is equal to x1, b, x. So I can actually just copy all the angles. And then the others are... Okay, this works, this works. x, x4, x1 is equal to x, a, x1. And the other one is angle d, x3, x. Which is... Uh, no. Sorry. Uh... But where's the cyclic log? It's so hard to see. Okay, it's a comp. It's okay. Angle A C D X. We got it. So let me write this out for so it's on the stream. Um, so it's enough for the projections of X to be cyclic by six point circle. Then what you do is let them be X one, X two x3, x4, then, then you just say angle x, a, x, or we'll, we'll do angle x, x4, x1 is the angle x, a, x1. And similarly, and this means angle x1, x2, x3 equals angle x1, x4, x3. Eli, I, I apologize. <sighs> Anyways, okay, so that does it. Any questions? <laughs>